Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. This is going to be another video in Synapse Analytics playlist uh, wherein I wanted to cover something about identity property. Okay, whoever has worked with the, uh, SQL Server tables, we all know the importance of uh, identity property. It's a very useful property. It uh, helps us uh, increment uh, values. Um, for a particular column okay in, in case you have an id column which has to be automatically generated and it has to keep on increasing from a particular seed value we mention that column to be an identity column and inside the parenthesis you mention the seed value and the increment value okay if you mention one comma one it's going to start from one and it, it has to increment uh, by one every time it inserts a new record so if you are inserting one record it the first row will have one second row will have two third row will have three and so on okay and uh, at one point in time you, you are going to insert thousand records so you would have generated uh, keys from one to thousand okay next time you are going to insert hundred new record mean net records means it has to increment from thousand as thousand one thousand two thousand three and so on keeping this mind this in mind if you go to synapse analytics and you are going to create a table with the column mentioned as identity and uh, optionally a seed and increment value as well okay if you uh, do this and you insert some records and then you do a select star from table name you will be uh, amazed to see the result okay it will not have generator it would not have generated uh, keys in a uh, same fashion it used to generate in sql server that is because in sql server there is no concept like distribution and all right in um, synapse we all know that all the tables will be distributed okay for parallel processing for uh, improved performance uh, and everything right so based on uh, a round robin fashion or based on a hash key value uh, it can be any distribution uh, type right so uh, all the tables uh, irrespective of uh, um, what table we are going to create or how big it is irrespective of what uh, we are going to do in synapse a dedicated sql pool the table is going to be um, created in a distributed fashion or managed in a distributed fashion right so um, having that said right if you have a uh, thousand records it's going to be distributed into uh, multiple systems in the back end and uh, it's going to be a uh, handle parallelly each and every node um, of the synapse architecture is going to take care of certain rows first node will take care of 100 rows second row will take care of 100 rows so similarly if you have 1000 records we will be having 10 nodes equally handling the load okay since um, the architecture itself is distributed right uh, we cannot handle this identity property in the same way uh, it, it is used to handle handled in sql server okay in sql server it's all going to be in one machine or one node we can say but it's going to be distributed here in synapse so uh, we cannot ensure uh, the same uh, working of identity like sql server okay i'll show you a documentation page where we have the complete details about uh, how identity works in azure synapse analytics and what we can do uh, if we want to generate or if we want to uh, imitate the identity property okay so the first thing that we need to know is in azure synapse analytics identity value increases on its own in each distribution as i said if you have thousand records assume you have a 10 different nodes or 10 different distributions and in each distribution identity will be generating its own value and uh, it does not overlap with identity values in other distributions okay and necessarily what we need to know is uh, we need to know is it will not be in the uh, same incremental order one two three and so on and so forth uh, some records will have one some record will have 63 some records will have 124 it can be anything it is going to be a, a random unique value okay it will be unique okay but it is going to be random it's not going to be in continuous order just like how it is in sql server okay just keep that in mind this is the primary difference between sql server identity and uh, synapse analytics identity in sql server it's going to be continuous continuous i'm sorry but in synapse it's not going to be continuous okay uh, it is unique here 
it is unique here as well but not continuous so uh, when you insert five records first record will have one second record will have 60 third record will have 120 something like that you will be having again unique value but not in a uh, increasing order or continuous manner okay so what we can do in order to uh, achieve the same result as sql server that i'll go, i'll be telling you shortly okay i'll continue reading this the identity value in synapse is not guaranteed to be unique if the user explicitly inserts a duplicate value with set identity insert on so there is a clause that uh, uh, makes the user insert values to an identity column as well see normally in sql server if you declare a column to be an identity column we will not be able to insert any value manually right uh, but in synapse uh, or if you use this particular clause right set identity insert on this clause will let the user insert values manually okay i can provide a value to the identity column uh, however i want okay if you do this and uh, uh, already there is a key called uh, 10 in the table and i have set identity insert on and I am inserting 10 again, it's going to be taking it up, okay. It doesn't guarantee uniqueness in case uh, identity insert is on. So, it is we who have to take care of the uniqueness of the column in Synapse, okay. That is one um, prime thing that we need to keep in mind. Also, in Synapse, there is no concept called foreign key primary key relationship, okay. That we will touch upon in the next video. So, for this video, just understand identity is not the same. Um, as in SQL Server. I will show you a simple demo in order to uh, explain it a little better. I am going to create a table now. I will say T3 and we have two columns C1 and C2. First column is going to be an integer column and uh, it, it should be an identity column as well and it is a not null column. Okay. C2 is simply an integer column and it can accept null. Okay. and the distribution if you see right uh, based on what uh, criteria it's going the data is going to be distributed it's going to be computing hash value of c2 and it's going to be distributing the values okay so i'm just creating this table now i cannot run this in my built-in uh, um, server okay i need to be connecting to my dedicated sql pool uh, we, we uh, have to make sure we are running the query in the proper um, server or proper connection so it's going to be throwing error now let it throw okay so i have chosen dedicated now and running it again let the table be created i just copy some insert uh, command from here table should have been created now i'm inserting two records okay uh, the table name is t3 and uh, i'm going to just insert some random value to the second column i'll insert 10 i'll insert uh, 25 okay i'm just going to run this insert script now It takes a while so the moment uh, the values get inserted and uh, you do a select star from table name right uh, let's see what happens i'm just running the query so we will be expected to see something uh, like uh, uh, the first row will have one second row will have two because the seed starts from one and it should be incremented by one but see here I have selected the columns. The first row is having uh, value 1, second row is having value 6. So, uh, this is the problem with identity in Synapse. Okay, you cannot blindly use identity in the same way we used it in SQL Server. No, okay, so what else can we do? We can do one workaround. Okay, um, though I have not done it in real time, but that is the workaround uh, being suggested. Okay, so what I will be doing is. I'll create one more table now or uh, okay I'll create one more table the same way I'll say t4 and t3 is going to be my source now okay this this table is going to be my source and this table is going to be my destination and I'm not making it identity I'll simply keep it like this okay I'll create a table 
and in order for me to uh, in increase the records one by one to the column C1, what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare a variable, okay, max uh, C1 of type integer, okay, I'm declaring a variable and, and I'm assigning, I'm going to take the maximum of C1 column, from my table t4 t4 is my table okay c1 is my integer column that needs to be auto incremented i'm just taking the maximum value um, when i start uh, doing something with that table so before going to insert something to the table i'm taking the maximum value now if the max if there is no record we will be getting null value for that particular column uh, for the max function so i'm just taking it as zero okay so right now i have the maximum c1 value in hand from t4 and then i'm going to insert into t4 c1 comma c2 values select c1 I, I, my source is going to be uh, t3 right so from t3 i'm going to take my c um, c1 not c1 c1 is going to be auto generated right so for that what we are going to do i'm going to use my max c1 plus row num function okay this is the function that i'm going to use row number over some other column from uh, my source table okay over uh, which column that we can decide if you have multiple columns uh, what we are going to do we are going to just choose one particular column we are going to do an order by there and we are going to uh, do um, i mean row number over the ordered by column so i will say t three dot c two okay order by t three dot c two ascending order or descending order or whatever format we want to do i can do this so what i'm doing insert into the table name select max c one this max c one is going to be bringing uh, um, the maximum value in the first run and for every record being inserted right row number will be incremented or row number will be added to the maximum number okay i'll show you after uh, executing you will understand okay so the syntax is uh, select max e1 plus row number over order by t3 column okay then this is for first column for second column i'm going to just take um, the value from the t3 table as such okay i'm just uh, running all these together optionally you can mention a partition by clause inside the over uh, function here right so there is no c3 column i have to mention c2 so partition by when that we'll be using us you have to partition the records into groups and within the group you want to uh, generate sequence numbers so like that if you want to have you can use partition by okay uh, records are being inserted i think so i'll just do select star from t4 now We didn't mention identity clause, uh, identity property for any uh, particular uh, column in T4, but still we are able to achieve the result, 1, 2. So I'm going to run it again. It will be inserting two more records with value 3 and 4. So just to make use of this uh, um, I work around or alternate when you are uh, going to do something like this in synapse okay this is just a fyi, a FYI uh, session 
so most of us uh, would be in need to use identity from identity property so just wanted to share with you whatever i came across okay if you have any experience using it in your uh, project or uh, if you have any better alternates uh, i request you to post it in the comment section that's all with me for this session next session i will be taking you through the primary key and foreign key stuff in synapse how uh, it is handled in synapse or why it's not supported and all i will be taking it in the next session Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, keep supporting. If you haven't subscribed, I request you to subscribe. Thank you so much.